Hello, hello everyone, it's Lola. For those of you who know me and for those of you who do not know me, it's Lola. <laughs> I'm sorry, I haven't done a video in a while. I wanted to be as consistent as possible, but life has been life in, if there's any word like that. Um, been traveling, so I got a little, a little bit, you know, off track. I'm trying to get back on track, but I'm not saying I'm not gonna get off track again because life happens. But anyways, as you can tell from my title, I am reviewing my Chanel Deauville tote today. And yeah, so let's keep watching. I will start off with the positives first because we always wanna do the positive first. Let's start with the pros of this beautiful tote. Um, as you can see, it's Chanel <laughs> and in my opinion anything Chanel is stunning it is just they always they know how to make this masterpiece I'm a Chanel fan so I mean I love Chanel what can I say it is raffia the material is raffia um, it has the chain wrapped around the straps here and it also has like a fabric in the chain um, it has a top handle which is made out of leather so you can always carry a top handle or you can also carry it like on your shoulder um, one thing I will say is that this strap is phenomenal like when I say it's phenomenal it's such a masterpiece it is beautiful um, Chanel just knows how to do this and they do it so well. Um, this is just one of those totes that you don't have to do too much. You don't even have to have jewelry. The straps just perfectly add to any outfit that you wear. It just literally makes you feel like you're wearing jewelry without wearing jewelry. It just takes any outfit to a whole new different level. Um, that's the one thing I really do like about this tote. Like just these straps, just having the chains on it just takes a regular outfit to masterpiece, to stunning, to chic, to like run. Let's talk about the inside. I'm gonna start doing better about investing in inserts and stop throwing pillows in my bag, but I don't know. I just throw pillows in there. No complaints. It has the Chanel logo on here. I never took this out. As you can tell, I've actually had this purse for four and a half years and I'm surprised that I never took this out, but I didn't take out the film as you can see. But anyways, it has that Chanel um, logo on there. Same thing with this. Um, I didn't take out the film. Same thing here, Chanel, Chanel. It has Chanel here. It also has the clasp over here. You can close it off. Um, the front of those have 31 rue. I think this is Cambon. I, I, you know what? I'm not French. <laughs> Cambon Paris. I'm not going to pronounce that. And then Chanel, same thing here. 31 rue, the word I will not pronounce. Paris and then Chanel. All of them, all four of them have that as well. So the inside has Chanel, Italy. And I have my authenticity card inside when they used to do authenticity cards back then. This has the Chanel CC on it, the zipper. And then the other side has Chanel all out in full. Um, it does have like a pocket with the zip there. And the other side has two compartments, one and two. So there's three inner compartments in this. So one with the zipper and two, three without one. It has like a key hook on it that also has Chanel CC on there. Um, I'm guessing maybe they want you to hook a key on it or a wallet on it for easy access. I don't know because it didn't come with a pouch back then when I got it. So yeah, not really sure. I don't think I've ever used that. And of course the front has Chanel and then the logo and 31 Rue. Thou shalt not pronounce this for me <laughs> and parry on it. So it's a masterpiece. It's pretty stunning. Let me try to scoot back a little so you can see it. It's, you know, it's absolutely gorgeous. And then if you wanted to just leave the straps in the front as well, you can carry that. I really look at this as jewelry. It just adds something to it. 
you can carry it like that um yeah it's pretty stunning it's beautiful honestly i don't know how much they sell this now because i haven't really looked into it recently but when i got it it was i don't remember the exact amount but i believe it was like three thousand and some change i don't honestly i don't remember if i i'll, I'll have to go through my receipt and then put um a comment on how much i got it for it doesn't really matter now because i'm pretty sure it's not the same price but one of the pros i will say is that it's probably relatively reasonably priced compared to the madness that chanel is doing right now <laughs> with their pricing I, I cannot speak on what's going on with chanel and their price increases but this is probably one of the lower cost items right now that they have so i would say that's kind of like a pro i can't believe i'm saying that but at this rate we have to say that because you're spending almost ten thousand dollars now on a jumbo and this is obviously bigger than a jumbo another pro is that it's a good size bag really nice size bag you could fit quite a bit in here you know so i like that okay so now let's get into the negatives i october of 2023 this year will be five years that i've had this so i've had it for like four and a half years maybe not even up to but very close to four and a half years um i have used it probably less than 20 times since i've had it so i mostly used it for travel um and no other reason honestly i don't think i've ever used it other than travel um some might tell you that this is heavy i don't think that it is heavy i don't even know that i'll say that that's a con because i don't really think it's heavy but to some it might be a con um of course the straps are heavy as you would expect um you know chanel likes their straps heavy it is heavy um the purse itself has some weight to it but i don't think it's miserably heavy like it's not as light as a goyard gm tote for instance but it you know it's not as heavy as like you know a dior book tote or something leather so it's not miserably heavy i, I remember that i had i still have it i have a Cel celine phantom tote in the latch and that is heavy heavy and it doesn't even have the shoulder strap so it makes it's that to me was miserably heavy but and also my Dior book tote I think was heavy but those are leather so I can't really compare leather to non-leather so this is not leather this is kind of fabric is the fabric kind of thick yes is it miserably heavy no I would say it's it has weight but not miserable like it's doable of course the more you put in this the more uncomfortable it will get um I will say that you know oh when you do carry it as a shoulder bag the straps tend to dig into me so eventually you see some little you know marks that it lays over but those are not permanent marks they go once you you know stop carrying the purse uh, so you know that could get a little uncomfortable especially if you have quite a bit of stuff in there given that i use mine for travel so i used to have stuff in it um all these things are not like crazy terrible to me what i think is the worst for me or the most unbearable thing is the wear and tear on this um this purse in my opinion has faded so badly over the last four and a half years that i've had it it has faded i even stopped using it like for almost a year now because i started noticing the fading and the wear and tear on it and i was like okay i'm just gonna retire this because it's getting you know i need to save it it's getting embarrassing and even with all of that i left it in my closet for a year and i feel like i picked it up and it looks worse than the last time i saw it so i don't know i don't get why it's fading and when i say i left it in my closet i literally have two tiny windows this is hidden it's not like i exposed it to the sunlight it's not touching the sunlight i have um what's it called doors on where i put my person so it's not really being exposed to sunlight so i don't know what it is i think it's just the material that this was made in it's probably not the best like you can literally see all this white it's literally turning white like the bottom you can see all this white right here 
like it's pretty bad it's white all in the corners the bottom right there right there that's a big one right there it's it's fading so badly it's like even some of the material is like what do you call it coming out a little i don't know what the, the technical word for this but it's literally threading out it's like the threading is coming out so it's it's like look at all of that and i know i use it for travel and i know that over time if you put things up and sit in front of you and you drag it that could happen but even in areas like the whole back right here it's literally fading you can just see so much white <laughs> it feels like over time the whole bag is going to turn white like look at that so the wear and tear to me is unbelievable i feel like for the amount you spend on this purse like it should not be this horrible like i'm getting to a point where i'm not even using it anymore like look at that the threading everything and it would have been nice if they actually put some feet here so it would have protected you know the bottom funny thing is that the bottom is not even as bad as the corners and the fronts which is so weird to me like yeah so i don't know like look at that that's a big one right there too these are all big ones so i don't know if this is just friction of it rubbing on my on my clothes is why all of that is fading out there um it's not wearing well this is almost five years and this looks horrible i literally i'm so embarrassed <laughs> to carry this at this point um so i want to see if i can somehow take it to them in chanel like i don't know if you've watched any of my previous videos but the closest location to me is san francisco which is a two and a half hour drive and i'm being so lazy i'm like i need to go and just do it and hope that maybe they'll be able to do something about it i don't know if there's much they can do to get it back to you know life um but all i can do is try and I'll keep you updated if there's anything that can actually be done. Or if anybody has had this problem before and, you know, has spoken to Chanel and Chanel was able to do something about it, please leave me a comment. I would like to know because it's pretty bad. And for this reason, would I buy a Delville tote again? Possibly. Would I buy one with this material, the raffia? Absolutely not. You know what? Never say never. Maybe they'll just release something that I love so much and it's like, oh, I couldn't say no. I would rather not, but I will maybe consider the leather version because they do have a leather version and I'm pretty sure that will be heavy, but they have a leather version of that. Um, one thing I forgot to mention as part of the pros is that honestly, the leather straps are intact. Like it is perfect. There's literally no wear and tear on the top handle of, of this. It is in perfect condition. So it's just the actual purse wear and tear that I have a problem with um would i get the letter version most likely i probably will i'm not gonna say never but i'm not discouraging anybody from getting this purse if you love it you love it go for it why not but i just wanted you to keep this in mind <laughs> before going for it um i know i'm kind of saying i don't want to discourage you but then i have this dramatic title but i got your attention and you're here so hey um why not but hopefully i hope my video is able to help somebody who's considering this and I hope to see you on my next video. Thank you so much for being here. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.